Alex Pereira is that guy in just eight UFC fights. Incredible what he's done. Brandon, I don't, I don't know that I know what I'm talking about because <laughs> we try to predict all these fights. Hey, and, the prediction and, game is tough. And tonight was absolutely crazy. And, and, and it started about the way that I thought it was going to. They were going to play that lead leg kicking game. There was a lot of hand fighting going on and figuring out who was going to lead that dance. Uh, and, and Jamal knew exactly what he had to deal with. He had to deal with the lead leg kick. He had to deal with the inside leg kick at times, and he was going to have to deal with that nasty left hook. The difference on this left hook was uh, Alex Pereira changed the angle. Typically, he goes high elbow, high elbow knuckles up, right? That's usually how he throws that big, nasty left hook, and he closes the distance. This one, he loaded up big like he was throwing a right hand, and he, it, it was like an a uppercut, a a upper, shovel. Like a shovel hook. And so he just changed the angle. Jamal, he's seen the, hook, like the lead hand coming, but when he went to cover, it just came right up in front of him, and he, and, and he went down. He's got crazy power in his hands. Anybody's going to have a hard time absorbing that shot. Anthony, don't feel bad. I do believe it was a clean sweep. We all said that Jamal Hill was going to win this fight. We all said that he was going to knock him out. Of course, he was the one that got knocked out. Listen, Alex Pereira, I will never underestimate this man ever again. That was one of the cleanest shots. All right, he didn't knock him out cold, but that shovel uppercut, you're absolutely right, and a great description, by the way. So much power. We know the power's on this play but against a light heavyweight the size of Jamal Hill Chael a man that can take shots a man that's extremely dangerous himself super impressive where is this confidence coming from two different weight classes less than 10 walks now he's calling up Tom Aspinall of which he's not joking by the way he would really take that opportunity how is he walking somebody uh, like Jamal Hill down how is he walking somebody like Adesanya down how is he not afraid to take on Uncle Live which he truly is not I mean I'm just sharing Mike Lee didn't have this kind of experience this guy never won a wrestling match he never no. Abu Dhabi how is he so good I was gonna say he's booking the trend okay wrestling is the best background you need to have wrestling He's never wrestled a day never. in his life. He's beating champions <laughs> left, right, and center. And by the way, the coolest celebration ever. Knocks out Jamal Hill and just, I did this. Look, there it is, guys. Yeah. And then he saunters off. Doesn't say anything. No trash talk. Takes his belt. Shama. And did you hear the crowd tonight, though, for the first time ever, that crowd, he got the loudest pop of the night. He came through last, but that crowd, when his music hit, he came out and he was doing his thing. You know, nobody's a star until they're a star. His moment oh. was tonight. The broadcast crew was mentioning, Chael, that there was a, a point in that first round where it flipped, and Alex Pereira said, I'm going to walk him down now. I don't respect him anymore. Is that what you saw? I most definitely did, and if I, if I could jump up and I had a little bit of room, I could show you. Jamal felt it. <laughs> Let's go. If we, yeah, but if we talk to Jamal, he'll tell you he felt it. Like, some of those techniques that he was doing, they were just a little bit off. He was doing everything he wanted to, but he was seeing and feeling something, and they were getting a little timid. Whenever you get a little timid, that's what slows you down, and when you slow you down, that's what gets you caught. Well, and, and the, Jamal Hill's team had not planned on being walked down. That was not their idea. The idea was to not let Alex Pereira get settled and, and be able to kind of look at a mirror and react to what you're doing. You have to back that guy up. You can't let him get settled. It, and you damn sure can't let him walk you down where you're trying to fight going backwards. You absolutely cannot do that. They knew that. Jamal knew that, and there's nothing he could he could do about it when it when, when it came time to fight. It's all well and good oozing confidence at the press conference and at the weigh-ins and when you speak to reporters, but when you're in there with somebody like Alex Pereira and it's showtime, it's a very different thing to do it to go forward. I believed him. I saw them at the apex. He was kind of big brothering him. I thought he's not intimidated. I'm not saying he was intimidated, but he was definitely aware of the threat that Pereira possessed he because was he did. His key to victory was put Pereira on the back foot. He doesn't fight well on the back foot. He didn't do that. He allowed himself to get backed up against the fence. Pereira's the man. He can, is. Can he's we, awkward. Can we also talk about Alex Pereira having the confidence to walk down a guy with the power of right. Jamal Hill after being knocked out before by a middleweight? A lot of times those knockout losses will kind of, they'll, they'll, I don't know, they'll stay with you for haunt a little while. And, yeah, they'll haunt you a little bit and change the way you fight for a little while. It's like it never happened to him. He, I'll, yeah. I'll, a middleweight knocked me out. I'll walk down a light heavyweight and still not care. That, it, there's and how about the there. swarm? How about the swarm, by the way? I mean, you got to have uh, confidence in your conditioning. Mike, Mike Tyson talked about it. if you ever look for the finish, you won't win a decision. He went on a sprint. I mean, he had to get him out of there when he came on top. And I'm just sharing, guys with seven, with eight fights, they don't know to do that. And by the way, we all picked Jamal to win. And so did Israel Adesanya, which was very humble of him because you, usually when you beat a fighter you all, or, or you lose to a fighter, regardless, you always pick them to win because only I can beat him or yeah. nobody can beat this guy. Israel said, no, no, 
Jamal Hill is going to knock out Alex Pereira as well. So we were all fooled. We were all wrong. And it just shows again, Alex Pereira is legit. And to your uh, point, collectively, some thought he would be susceptible against a guy as powerful as Jamal Hill because of how he carries that left hand a little bit low if Jamal was able to land. Alex Pereira is your light heavyweight champion and still tonight in the main event at UFC 300. But Chael, it's not just about wins and losses. It's about storylines, right? So now we go to who's next, which is brought to you by Cuervo. And we're wondering, Alex Pereira, he says Tom Aspinall in less than a month in Rio. I'd say that's unlikely. What do you think's next for Alex Pereira? Okay, I, I am very light on that idea, but I will share with you, I don't know that it's going to Uncle Lai as much as Uncle Lai believes that it is. Look, I don't know, nobody's really uh, gotten to a title fight in about two years if you don't go through Jan Blahovich, and Uncle Lai had a draw. Now, that doesn't disqualify him. I think if Rachik would have won tonight, I think Rachik could be massively in the conversation. I think one of the great performances tonight was Yuri Prohaska, but the UFC is going to be looking for some parity, and that is where somebody like Lionheart or somebody like Uncle Lai does start to come in. And yes, I know he's He's busy. I know he's busy, but he's only a couple away. Hey, Anthony, I'm not taking him out your of number. the conversation. I, I will. Oh, I never answer. take Anthony about the conversation. No, but I, I do believe it's probably on Goliath. And well, well, Anthony's going to be there. Uh, we'll, You're going to be in Brazil. <laughs> we'll be in Brazil. Because I think Pereira's going to be in Brazil as well. I 100% think three weeks' time. I mean, look at the pop he got tonight, as you yeah. say. The man is a star. Bring him down to Brazil. Put him main event at UFC 301 against Magomed Ankalaev. Why don't you like that, Chael? Well, we have an alternate. Oh, I do love it. And we it. got I an alternate. They'll turn him around, and he asked for it. He is not He will turn it around. And he made that <laughs> statement, by the way. When he said, I want this spot, and I don't care if it's with Izzy, I don't care if I go to a group, I don't care if you bring the guy off the shelf. When he said that, I feel that then buys him the right to ask for a favor. And if all he's asking is to get a fight at home, we got to give it to him. Alex Pereira barely broke a sweat. Okay? He can fight in three weeks. That's a fact. We cut you off. What were you saying? We were sitting here talking about how wonderful, I, I don't how wonderful I saying, you are. I, 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 Uncle Lai probably deserves it. I mean, and, and as much as a lot of times we don't like to watch it, He's winning, and he's doing well, and, and those guys haven't seen each other. I don't know if I like it for Alex Pereira in three weeks. It, Uncle Life might be the worst matchup in the division, not just for, well, well, not well, just well. for Alex Pereira, but for everybody else in the division. Ankalaev is a terrible matchup stylistically with the wrestling, but if he's sure. a bad matchup, what is Tom Aspinall? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> he can wrestle, matchup. but he's gigantic. He's got knockout power, and the man can wrestle. Will you guys at least admit for me, even in defeat, Rachik, who's been out, Rachik. Look good tonight. Can I we admit that? Look great. I thought he got looked, beat. I thought he, he looked great I know too. he did. I know he can't go in for a contendership. Jerry Prohaska just got beat off Pereira. But it was two versus six, and I do. Th I don't think Rajic loses that spot. I think he's still right in the mix. It was but he's got to win back. one, though. I understand. No, I'm not talking next. I'm not talking next. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying, yeah. can we admit that he looked good? Rakic looked... Rakic, pardon me. <laughs> you got me saying Rakic. Sorry. He looked phenomenal. Yeah. He really did. Yeah.